Well, welcome back. If you are Winnie, one of many Australians suffering from a post-Christmas spending hangover, you are not alone. According to Finder, Australians have reached $12 billion in Christmas-related credit card debt. That is extraordinary. Let's welcome to Studio 10 this morning Tammy Barton, founder and director of My Budget, who has some important advice to get us back on track. Thank you for having me. Tammy, good morning. That is an extraordinary amount of debt. Perhaps mm. not shocking, though. Yeah, it is a lot of debt, and you're right, not shocking. There are thousands of people who get themselves into a lot of debt over Christmas every single year, but there is a way to get out of debt and get back on track. Do you think a lot of people put setting financial goals into the too hard basket? Yes, absolutely. Spending less and saving more is actually one of the top goals that most people set for themselves every year. Yeah, only about 10% of people achieve those goals. And to your point, I think it's because setting goals does go in that too mm. hard basket. So when you set a goal, you really need to put a plan or a system in place to help you get there. If you don't have that plan, then that goal really is just a dream. And the way to make that dream a reality is to have a plan or a system and automate as much of that as you can so you do achieve those goals. Tammy, a lot of people have good intentions when it comes to money and saving in particular. But where should we start? Because often you get overwhelmed with the bill and mm -hmm. think, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Well, firstly, I want to say start now. We're at the beginning of a new year, a new de decade, 2020. Now is as good a time to start as any, but start by putting a budget together mm -hmm. because it's going to give you that visibility into where you're spending your money and so you can see where you might be able to cut back and actually create those savings. A set and forget system is a great idea. You were talking about automating. Mm -hmm. What's your advice on finding the spare cash to get started? Where, where is it? Well, I, I can actually hear a lot of your viewers thinking to themselves yeah. or even saying, how can I save when I feel like I don't even have enough to yeah. pay my bills? But it's absolutely possible. So everyone who comes to my budget, we put a savings plan in place. And the way to do it is by looking at that budget, seeing where you can cut back. And it could be something as simple as, you know, deciding to take your lunch to work every day. Saving $10 a day, five days a week, you know, that's $2,500 a year. So yes. that's a great start. But it's about getting that visibility in place so you can see where you're spending your money and then putting that plan in place to achieve those goals. Big problem with credit cards, especially mm. after Christmas. Uh, often you don't think like, you, it doesn't feel like you're spending money. What are the That's... do's and don'ts with credit cards? Well, ideally, don't use a credit card if you don't have to. In particular, if you have a balance already owing and you're not paying it off in full every month, certainly stop using it because you're spending someone else's money yes. which has interest attached. Now, the reality is a lot of people have a credit card and they do the right thing and they pay it off every month month, my biggest piece of advice is just be mindful of what you're using the credit card for because it's easy to lose track of your spending, end up in debt and then you've got this credit card hangover and who likes a hangover? Definitely not me. So if you've got the credit card debt, should you be paying that off before you start this savings plan? Absolutely. You always want to have a little bit of savings though because you want to have that buffer. So have a minimum amount. You know, you, you ideally want to have at least $2,000 in an account that if something happens, a rainy day comes, you've got money to fall back on, but really focus on paying that high interest debt off first, in particular credit cards. Great advice, Tammy. Thanks so much for joining Thank us for this morning. Thank you for having me. My budget.